A third meeting in nine days between two sides usually results in familiarity. And so Kidderminster were looking to the returning Graham McKenzie to provide their inspiration, while Maidstone's Mike Doherty earned a starting place after his late equaliser in last week's replay. And it was Doherty who showed first, but Jim Arnold was equal to his effort. Kidderminster's tenacity led to chances for the highly rated striker Kim Casey. But first, the defence, and then keeper Mark Beanie held firm. In the second half, Paul Davis inspired the best save of the game from Beanie. But it was Maidstone who had a goal ruled out for offside. Steve Butler, the supposed offender, and although there was no protest, the replay shows he might count himself a little unlucky. As tempers became thin, the penalty area melee was really born out of increasing frustration rather than any malice. But at the end of the 90 minutes, extra time was again necessary. Chances, though, were still at a premium. Davis set up Casey. He was out of luck for Kidderminster amid total Maidstone panic. And then, in the dying minutes, Butler might have done better for Maidstone. But he wanted too long, and the teams will meet yet again tomorrow night, this time in Kent. <laughs>